my jello blunts Louboutin double cuffs Designer drugs, you get seen up If it tastes good, niggas rollin' like rollers my roll what is going on guys welcome to nba 2k19 video guys this is for the bad tutorial free throw ace badge guys i'm gonna show you guys real quick before we get started man before you uh make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well man before we get started and we have a giveaway this tomorrow is the last day for the giveaway make sure you guys check out the giveaway down below in the description and all that good stuff but let's get right into the video guys the first thing i'm gonna talk to you guys about is the best free throws guys the one i'm using currently is free throw 28 which is the best one that i've had right now and um i really recommend using free throw 28 or use free throw 62 because they're faster they're faster shots and they're faster free throws than a default this is the one you get for default right here free throw 49 it's just it's just too slow for me i don't like it it's just too slow so i really recommend free throw 28 or uh, free throw 62 my favorite is free throw 28 and it's just cash man it's cash at the line so make sure you guys go ahead and put that free throw 28 before you get started and i really recommend playing on pro difficulty guys every badge you uh you're grinding for try to play on pro difficulty it's the easiest to just try to do that so make sure you guys go ahead and do that but i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay of what you guys want to do in the actual game when you guys are playing so let's get right into that gameplay guys all right guys so in the actual game what you guys want to do is grab the ball and then go to the top of the key and just dribble around man do a, do a couple crossovers like you see me right there i just did one right there but once you see the open space go ahead and cut in and try to go for the layup or the dunk and you guys are gonna get fouled sometimes you're gonna miss it or sometimes you're gonna make it but hey you're gonna get fouled a lot like this guys it's the main way to get fouled the way that i found out and if you guys aren't a dribbling build like my build is in a dribbling build but i can still you know i can still do my little dribbles in um, my career and whatnot you guys see right there the space i just go with them and i just go get fouled in um in the paint i just go for the layup and try to get and try to get fouled for the for the free throw and then you guys see right there man that free throw 28 is cash at the line like i told you man it's really it's really good it's a really good free throw it's much better than default man when i had the default i was just missing so much and then i changed into this one it was just so good the other method as well man is like just call for a screen if you guys aren't dribbling builds call for a screen and once you have that space just roll out to that paint and just go for the go for the dunk go for the layup man they're gonna foul you like um whenever they're that close especially when they're like that close on you most of the time they're gonna try to go and try to block you and they'll foul you a lot so uh try to get fouled and like i said man that free throw 28 is cash try that one off it's not working for you guys try the other one i put on but like i said i'm gonna show you guys more examples right here and after this guys we're just gonna um i'm gonna just leave keep clips playing to you guys so you guys can see more clips of what i'm talking about when i'm just saying like dribble and just go up to the pain you know i'm saying you guys see right there man it's the easiest what easiest way to try to get free throws it's just the free, easiest way to get fouled guys just do a little dribble Go in there and then the other thing you guys want to keep in mind as well man is um use your practices go to do the free throw ace practice and then um i couldn't get gameplay of it i was gonna put some gameplay up for you guys but i didn't get no gameplay of it but it really helps you out a lot and it gives you a huge boost of 700 when you do really good on the free throw ace so once you got that free throw 28 just go in that um facility and then just practice for the free throw ace badge and it will give you a huge boost to your um to your badge it'll give you a 700 plus boost for every single time you do really good and i believe you have to like sit at it like eight attempts you gotta like make like six something like that to get the 700 points so that's gonna give you a huge boost don't forget to go to the practice facility but i'm gonna just let these clips roll out guys i'm gonna just play some clips so you guys can see more of the my career gameplay of the method that i use of how to get fouled in the game and all that stuff so make sure you guys uh hit that subscribe button hit that like button if it helped you guys out appreciate it god bless and i'll catch you guys in the next one